This year marks the 75th anniversary of the ethnic cleansing and mass displacements of the Palestinians known as the Nakba, which was the most traumatic catastrophe that ever befell them. On the 15th of May, we remember the expulsion of hundreds of thousands of Palestinians from their home, from their homes in historical Palestine in 1948. Greetings to our friends in Ireland from Palestine. 75 years ago, the Zionist gangs conducted one of the worst acts of ethnic cleansing against the Palestinian people, creating what we call today the Nakba. More than 70% of the Palestinian population were forced out of their country, becoming almost six and a half million refugees today who are not allowed to come back home. In that process, in 1948, the Israeli troops uh, committed no less than 52 massacres against Palestinians, and 530 Palestinian communities and villages were erased completely. This, of course, left a huge impact and created what we call today the Palestinian issue the struggle of the Palestinian people to be free from this system of occupation and oppression and to get to the right of the Palestinian population, the refugee population, to come back home to the places they were displaced from. Until today, the Palestinians are submitted to the same policies, the same rules and regulations by the Israeli occupation in different areas, in Gaza Strip, in the West Bank, in East Jerusalem. For example, in Gaza Strip, Gaza Strip is occupied now for more than uh, 56 years, totally isolated from the whole world, uh, denied the basic uh, rights of movement, of health, of education, uh, in particular, in the last 16 years, Gaza is under a tight Israeli siege, so that 2.3 million Palestinians are living in the biggest open-air prison in the world. 55% of, percent of them are children. The same situation is in the West Bank and East Jerusalem, but might be worse than Gaza Strip. 70% uh, of the Palestinian territories are under Israeli uh, total control. More than 500 checkpoints daily killing of innocent Palestinians, demolishing of houses, stealing of resources, destruction of farms, and uh, lastly, burning of villages. Uh, we are talking about continuation of the Nakba today. What we face today is one of the worst Israeli governments in history. It's not only racist like other governments. It's not only a government that practices occupation and apartheid against Palestinian people, but it is truly a fascist government. What's happening in the Israeli society today was expected for us because Israeli society, Israeli leadership and the state of Israel was presenting itself on one side as defending of liberal values, of democratic rules and regulations, defending of human rights, and on the other side, adopting racist policies, uh, attacking Palestinians, killing innocent people, uh, this could not last forever. Therefore, this division is a reflection of the continuation of the occupation for more than 75 years, at least when we're talking about Gaza Strip and West Bank and East Jerusalem, for 56 years. It is very important for us that the movement in Ireland and worldwide against the system of Israeli apartheid continues and increases and links with the demand of imposing boycott, divestment and sanctions on this Israeli government of occupation and apartheid. We hope that you will succeed on all your efforts to pass laws that would ban 
not only settlement products, but also all relationship with this government of apartheid and occupation, as was done against the system of apartheid in South Africa at one point of time. Therefore, we are calling our comrades, brothers and sisters, friends in Ireland to help us to launch an international anti-apartheid campaign to support the Palestinian struggle uh, to achieve and to fulfill our dreams and goals of freedom, independence, and uh, self-sovereignty. We call on all our people to stand together, to rise up the challenges that our cause faces, to stand up for our land and our sanctities, and to focus on confronting the illegal occupation and getting rid of the apartheid and colonialism our people face. On the 75th anniversary of the Nakba, Palestinians are determined to continue their struggle. We don't lack will, we don't lack heroism, we don't lack readiness to struggle for our rights. We have a fantastic young generation who is even more committed to struggle and more committed to achieving freedom, dignity, and liberation of their own people. But what we lack more than anything else is the internal unity. And that's why we are struggling, while we are struggling against occupation and apartheid, we're trying our best to achieve that moment where we will have a unified Palestinian national leadership leading the struggle uh, on the basis of a strategy of struggle to achieve our goals. We consider Palestinian unity is a must. It is not a choice. We cannot achieve and fulfill our big goals of independence, sovereignty, and return to our homeland without being uh, united uh, as a one front to face this aggressive, brutal uh, occupation. I have to praise the UN as for the first time in its history. This anniversary will be commemorated pursuant to the mandate by the General Assembly. A high-level special meeting on the 15th of May will be organized. The event will bring life to the Palestinian journey and narrative since the Nakba and will aim to create an immersive experience of it. Today, I remember the stories that I heard from my grandparents where I quote, we are leaving for a few days and we will come back. Today is 75 years later, and the goal of our return didn't and will not die. This is our right, our right to be free and live in peace in our free state of Palestine. And the Palestinian flag raised with pride in our eternal capital, Jerusalem. My message to the Irish people, be strong because our strength comes from your strength. We take heart in our struggle from your support and the support of all the free nations. Recognize the state of Palestine. It's our right mandated by the international law.